Welcome back, everybody. Happy Friday to you all. Who's ready for the weekend? Uh, live shot from the Capitol looking at the sky cam there, and uh, you can see a lot of clouds have moved back in after some nice sunshine this afternoon. Also, some pretty good rain and some pretty good wind. Gusts still up to about 30 miles per hour, although parts of the valley had wind gusts near 50 miles per hour earlier today, starting to get dark and also more in the way of some clouds moving back into Great Falls, 53 degrees. West winds 29 miles per hour. Still ahead of the front though here uh, for a lot of central and southern Montana. Here's the cold front. Look at that just up the I-15 uh, from Great Falls up there around Shelby and Cup Bank temperatures in the upper 30s and then into eastern Montana. Glasgow has been uh, going back and forth between rain and snow with a temperature of 35. Look at that wind too from the east at 20 miles per hour with some chilly rain in Glasgow snow just off towards the north and there's the wind shift beginning to move around to the northwest and the north around Haver and Cup Bank. So that's a sign of the cold front coming through. Uh, good news is the high wind warning just been allowed to expire here for uh, parts of uh, areas right off of the Rocky Mountain front and the Continental Divide. But uh, still looking at a wind advisory here for Powell County, parts of Granite County as well. There is a winter weather advisory up over Kings Hill Pass and then also winter weather advisory continues for Old Pine, Scopey, Plentywood, uh, Medicine Lake down through about the Circle area here. Total snowfall amounts by tomorrow morning two to four inches with again up here around Opine the higher elevations as much as eight inches of snow little maybe freezing rain in there as well so there's the snow up here northeast Montana look at that south and west of Glasgow rain and north and east of Glasgow we've got some snow coming down but there's the back edge of some precipitation that's about ready to move through so we'll get a little break but still several more hours of snow for Opine up through Plentywood rain from Haver through just about northeast of Great Falls and then we've got a couple of mixed rain and snow showers depending on elevation around the capital. Some rain showers came down into the valley earlier, and here's a look at some of that rain up here around Loma and Fort Benton, up uh, around the Chester area, seeing some rain showers and snow up on the Rocky Mountain front. Here's the big picture. Tonight, still some mixed rain and snow in the western and central part of the state here. Snow for extreme northeast Montana. A little lull in the activity tomorrow. Even uh, tomorrow afternoon will likely end the snow northeast Montana. A little snow, a little sun. I should say central and eastern parts of the state, but the western part of Montana right around the continental divide, even Great Falls. It's a mostly cloudy day with a couple of snow showers in the mountains. And then here comes the next storm increasing Saturday night into Sunday here and Sunday very similar to today where we've got wind, where there are some areas of snow in the higher elevations and rain showers in the lower elevations by Sunday night. As some cold air comes in, we may mix in a little snow all the way down to the valley floor and the plains. Not much accumulation until we start getting into Monday and that's when it'll be cold enough for snow to fall all the way down into the lower elevations here. We could see a little coating up to an inch or two Monday and Tuesday for some of the valley locations. But uh, northeast Montana, maybe another one to three inches uh, well to the northeast of the Glasgow area. Mountains here tonight as much as three to six inches of snow and then watch what happens heading through Sunday. Notice the increase in the accumulation here. Some places like Glacier, Sealy Swamp, the missions over to the Flint Creeks, uh, the sapphires, the bitter roots, uh, even the little belts, the big belts could see six to 12 inches of snow coming through on Sunday here. And then it's after Sunday. That's when some of that snow will accumulate, start accumulating in the lower elevations. Lows tonight, most of north central, north, northern, northeast Montana will be down below the freezing point. Some snow continuing. Oak Pine, Burdette, Wolf Point here, uh, central Montana down into the upper 20s. So we we're mostly looking at rain around the Lewistown area. Well, the temperature's getting down below freezing. Watch out for some slick spots. Uh, the valley should stay above the freezing point, but the hills around town could be very close to freezing here uh, tonight into tomorrow. And speaking of tomorrow, some mountain snow, a couple of sprinkles maybe in the lower elevations here. Not as windy tomorrow. And we'll have highs in the upper 40s to right around 50. A little morning snow, northeast Montana for Sunday. Here's this deja vu all over again. Storm system coming through with wind, with rain, with snow in the mountains. Cloudy day. It's a stormy day on Sunday. Again, the lower elevations mainly being impacted by wind. Monday, cooler temperatures, highs in the 40s. And election day, highs only in the 30s with some areas of snow. All right, who's going up into the mountains here this weekend? It does get colder and snowier throughout the mountains on Sunday. And if you're really heading up there, look at the highs only in the teens toward the mountaintops by Sunday with west winds, northwest winds up to about 40 miles per hour. For the capital, 
Daylight saving time also going on here. Actually coming to an end Saturday night into Sunday. Look at next week. Highs in the 30s, some lows in the teens for the Helena Valley. And I mentioned uh, some sub-zero temperatures potentially. Great Falls almost there, 8 degrees by Thursday morning. High of only 28 on Thursday. But some of the places in central and eastern Montana could wake up Thursday morning to temperatures below zero. That sounds terrible. Yeah. Great. It's November, <laughs> Montana. <laughs> Thanks a lot for that, Curtis.